top of the morning to you laddies. Alright, now that I got that out of the way, these are just some of the supplies that you could use in making your own leprechaun trap for St. Patrick's Day. And while it is standard to do a leprechaun trap the night before St. Patrick's Day, as it is customary in most things for other Christian and Catholic holidays, this one can be done at any time because as we know, April showers bring May flowers. So April is next month and April showers also bring rainbows and rainbows bring leprechauns and they're gold. And that's what we'd like to get today. So I have a shoe box, some scissors, some magazine papers, a whole box of magazines to look through and discover goodies, and some scrapbooking pages, some used and some not. I'm going to get started on either taping them, gluing them, or what have you. You can watch as I try to make the box not look like a box anymore. If there are any mathematicians out there who really like to measure out things to make sure everything fits the proper way, you could use a ruler and measure out your pages and cut them to size. I like the more rustic look, which is why for the edges of my box and even the bottom, I'm using this scrapbooking page that looks like the bark of a tree. Green for the bottom, and brown for the sides. While the base is drying, time to work on the lid. If you find the glue hard to spread, you might want to use a thin paintbrush. This makes easy work out of making sure your paper sticks to all surfaces you want.
Make sure everything is down and let it dry. Don't forget to rinse out your paintbrush if you used it to spread the glue around. And let it dry. Scrolling through the internet or my Instagram feed, you can find lots of ideas for signs and things to put on your leprechaun trap. I got a few here. I'm just using some green paper and some orange and green Sharpies. To make the trap part of your leprechaun trap, you're going to need to make a hole somewhere in the box. I think the best place so that you can display your talents is on the top of the box. This box already had a hole started on one tiny side, so it made it a little bit more easy to use that tiny hole and cut a larger one out with my scissors. Now any self-respecting leprechaun would see a giant hole like that and know something was up and try and stay away. This is where the paper towel roll comes in handy. I'm going to make a rainbow out of the paper towel roll and some paint. I cover the top of the paper towel roll in red paint just to make sure that none of the paper towel roll is visible when I add my paper to really paint on. Next month is also Earth Day, so I'm using a recycled paper to tape to the paper towel roll instead of using Liquitex paint to prepare it. I'm just taping it together and then I'm ready to paint my rainbow a rainbow is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet.
higher the rainbow goes up, the more you see clouds. Here, I'm using some Q-tips to hold my cotton balls in place for my clouds and just taping everything together. This is also where your leprechaun will slide into the trap. I promised the leprechaun some gold. I made these gold coins out of the white and black checkers from Oriental Trading Company and some glue and glitter. Just adding a final touch and I'm done. Just a quick walk around of my completed leprechaun trap. Put your guess as to how long this leprechaun trap took me from start to finish in the comments below. For more content like this, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks!